Hello Fruit Force. Thanks for watching this video, but before we get into it, I want to let you know this video is sponsored by my wallet. Yes, my wallet. Letting you know that don't you don't have to worry about my videos being sponsored by special giveaways, so like pre-codes for video games or YouTube advertisement and have to worry about it being friendly because I don't advertise using YouTube because I don't like how their practices are. So my channel is completely funded by my wallet, which means anything that you give, I'm greatly appreciative for that helps this channel continue. So I want to take a moment to thank everybody on Patreon and Subscribestar. A Penny for Your Dimes, Comic Boom, David Onswitz, and yes, I know I butcher names up, okay? Pop Size, Rags, Warren JB, and Lich Nut. I greatly appreciate your support, and if you want to be on here too as a producer and have me list your name, just let me just give a simple donation. You could donate to my Patreon or Subscribestar for as little as a dollar a month, or you know other ways that you can help out is just advertise the channel, tweet it out there, put it on your social media, your Facebook, share the videos, like, subscribe when you see them, and definitely leave a comment because that's what this channel a lot of it is about. It's a nice conversation. We want to hear your thoughts as well as mine. And let's get this geek and nerd culture, and I say that in a nice way together, and let's have some fun. So once again, thank you very, very much, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, Fruit Force. This is Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today I want to share my PlayStation 1 collection. I don't have an extensive PlayStation 1 collection. Uh, so you see some of my games back there. Uh, I, I only buy games that I plan on playing. Uh, sometimes I do get games that maybe I wasn't going out of my way to get because I bought them in a bundle with a system or something like that. Uh, that does happen a lot because I do like tend to buy bundles like I do with comic books. I buy them in a whole stack, usually get them a lot cheaper. Uh, so anyway, I get my games a lot that way too. Like if I, like recently I bought another PlayStation 2 because mine died. Uh, I do plan on working on that. Uh, I'm going to take it apart. I think it's the, the, the drive went on it from the way it sounds, but it does all of a sudden power out, and that could be a drive issue. If you know anything about repairing PlayStation 2s, let me know in the comments. I could use some tips. Uh, but I think I'm going to try to fix that one. But I did get another one so I can play. Unfortunately, that one doesn't always play the the, the blue and black ring, uh, black bottom discs very well. Uh, some people know that sometimes you have to set the PlayStation 2 sideways to get them to read those discs. It's just they, the certain colors like that are running at a different speed and it has issues doing that. So anyway, with that said, let's go over this the PlayStation 2. I got. Uh, PlayStation 1, I'm sorry. Games I have. Um, here's one I have. I don't have cases for all of them because, as I said, I get them cheap sometimes. And this is Tekken 2. Uh, you know, out there for Tekken fans. I know recently somebody asked me, do you have any Tekken? And they'd like to see Little Frugal and I play that. But guess what? We do. And we have more than this one, too, just so you know. So we do have some Tekken. I've had that one. I got that one early on when I got the PlayStation. I didn't get the PlayStation. It was brand new. I got it. Uh, it was out. Usually I get games towards the end of a uh, system's lifestyle life uh, cycle. So that was the case with that too. PlayStation 2 is coming out soon. People usually sell their previous systems, so that's a great time to pick them up. So I got mine. Uh, matter of fact, I got a, a thing in the back too on mine in the parallel port. I got that one that can do that. So I can play burned games, which don't at me. It's um, I got it because discs die. They, they go bad. And it's a good idea to have backups and things, especially if your kids are going to play them and things so they don't scratch them up. I usually I'll only copy and burn games I actually have. And I can play them on that. Another, and I'll show you an instance where it's paid off. I have tennis. This is a very generic tennis. Uh, I don't recommend getting this one. <laughs> it it was actually really hard, and and I didn't think it was that fun. And you know that's the key. There, game has to be fun. Uh, this one, Area Fifty One. It's a hit and miss. I, I like games like this. I like shooters. I love rail shooters. On rail shooters, absolutely. Anytime I can break out the guns. Uh, on them now here's another one too this is a uh final fight spin-off really it was i originally there were a lot of talk about being final fight and here we go fighting force it, granted the graphics probably haven't aged the best i remember really enjoying this game and i beat it <laughs> uh, another one here is disruptor it's sort of a generic uh generic first person shooter it was okay i beat it but it was okay now that's the next one. I'm, I'm debating whether to do a video on or not because it's just, oh, it's not good. <laughs> Here you are. It's the Incredible Hulk, the Pantheon Saga. It's just, 
oh, you know, I, at least I remember it not being good. So I need to pop that back in and play it and, and see if it was as bad as I remember. Though, I mean, it's pretty cool, though. When you look like you got the Hulk fist out there. It's it had so much promise, but I just, if I recall, it was really lackluster. I did beat it, but it wasn't very good. This next one I enjoyed. I got this as a gift uh, many, many years ago. And uh, it's Crash Bandicoot 2. Beat it. Great game. Crash series. A lot of fun. Enjoy it. Can't go wrong. <laughs> and this next one is near and dear to me. I love this series of games. And I found this love for this series of games on none other than the PlayStation. And that is... Here we go, Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation. Absolutely love this game, beat it. I know the remake is out there, but you know what? Even if you've only played the new remake, I recommend still going back and getting this. It's a different game, really. And it, it's, yes, it has tank controls and things, but you know, I don't mind tank controls. A lot of people hate them. I think they're fine, for their, especially for their time. If you get used to them, the fixed camera angles all add to the eeriness of the game, too, and make it what it is. And this next one, you've seen me do lots of videos <laughs> on it, because it's probably the red-headed stepchild of the series, and that's Mortal Kombat 4, probably one of the least liked ones of the series. And I granted, I don't care for it a lot either compared to some of the other ones in the series. But for some reason, I keep coming back to it. Uh, I beat it with quite a few different characters. Matter of fact, I'm going to get in trouble for this one. I'm going to get some heat. Sometimes I think I like it more than Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which is just, I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, another one here, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. You've got to love that. I, I, another great one. Uh, some people say it doesn't hold up as well as 2. And in some regards, yes, but there's something about that nemesis chasing you constantly, never knowing when he was going to appear, that just makes it awesome. Beat it all the way through. Now, remember I said earlier I do uh, do backups, and I'm glad I did because my original copy of this got this game, SmackDown 2, got scratched and got ruined, so it was unplayable. So thank goodness I made a backup copy. Usually I just play the backup, but somehow the original got messed up. So SmackDown 2, a lot of fun, actually. You know, you hear people talking about greatest wrestling games. I don't follow wrestling a lot. I really don't. I, I can't tell you the last time I've ever watched wrestling. I couldn't even tell you who the current champion is or anything else. Um, but that's just a lot of fun. Sometimes I really like wrestling games because it's just, especially if you couch co-op them with somebody else and fight each other, they're a lot of fun that way. Beat that one. It, it was good. Another one is Loaded. Definitely a, a pretty good, bory shoot 'em up game. Not first person, it's like a third person overhead. And not even third person, it's an overhead shooter. It's a pretty good game. I don't think I ever one loaded. Uh, another one, of course, is from the Metal Gear series, but this is VR missions. I, I'm going to get shot on this one a lot. I, I have never beaten a, a Metal Gear game. I, I know it's a great franchise. Doug Ernst loves this series if by the way if you haven't checked out check out doug Ernst's channel a lot of good introspective a lot of good pop culture information as well as tied in with some good moral value and things like that he loves the metal gear series uh he'd school me on that <laughs> so metal gear uh it's just one i never really spent a lot of time in where we've gotten them purchased another one is army men 3d graphics of course don't really hold up today but, you know i found this one fun i beat it had a good time on it. Something about running around like those little green guys there. You know, those green army men from your, your childhood. You just gotta gotta love that. <laughs> uh, another one. This one's gonna hit a lot of people. Command and Conquer Red Alert uh, Retaliation. There you go. If you like your strategy games, there we go. Once again, I know I don't have the actual cases. Sometimes you find these out in the wild. You just can't help it. Uh, this next one here, uh, I like a lot. It, it's Pitfall 3D. Pitfall 3D is a, a really cool game. Uh, I'm trying to. There we go. Uh, so there, there, that. It's. If you liked Pitfall, I loved classic Pitfall. And so when 3D came out, I know this didn't get the highest critical reviews and things like that. But Pitfall 3D, I greatly enjoyed. It had Bruce Campbell doing the, the voice work for the main protagonist. How can you not like that? I am a sucker for Bruce Campbell. I love his work, I like his style. Uh, so I love playing through that game. Beat it. Another great game. Now another one. You've actually, if you've been watching the channel, you've seen I actually beat this one too. And that's the Clock Tower. When I say it's a, the original Clock Tower, first one, it's actually the second because the first one's on Super Nintendo. But it's the first one in a way because they can <laughs> the way they did it. Then the Clock Tower Two is actually right here too on PlayStation as well, which is really Clock Tower Three. But you know you follow it the way it is. So one and two Clock Tower beat both games. 
a lot of fun if you want to see how they end and things like that watch my uh, videos on it I have videos on that that you can check out another one here uh, is none other than Silent Hill yes it's got a clearance on there because as I said I get them when they're cheap I probably didn't even pay that that price for it to be honest with you uh, Silent Hill absolutely wonderful game believe it or not my wife is who wanted this game my wife is the one who got it uh, <laughs> uh she she likes horror games survival horror suit she doesn't play them much though she just likes the concept of them she always says it's time but she plays all kinds of games she just doesn't get to it and i understand that i mean look at my backlog i have tons i haven't gotten to too uh so it just takes time to get to them but uh, i beat it absolutely fantastic game uh, i know people always brag about how great two is and two is great i beat that too absolutely love silent hill 2 but don't look past the first one. The first one is an absolute amazing game as well. And matter of fact, I'm going to go back just a second to the Clock Tower ones here. To be honest with you, Clock Tower 1, I think, is a better game than 2. 2 is okay, but 2 has a lot of things that are really hard to, to figure. Unless you have a strategy guide or look it up, it's like, how do you figure that out? How do you stumble into that? Whereas 1 flowed better. So keep that in mind. Uh, two can be really, really challenging. It has a couple spots that are a little, little bit crazy. Like you have to keep running back to the same spot to grab something to take care of a zombie because it's the only way you have that possible to do. This is another game I got that I don't hear a lot of people talking about. And I did not pay nearly what the price tag on this is. But it's for PlayStation 2. And it's Spider-Man 2 and Electro. This is a really, really good Spider-Man game for its time. One player game, it has the vibrating function. It, you have customized it look, the, the costumes, different costumes and everything else like that. It's, it's, you fight Sandman, all kinds of ones. It's, it's really, it was, I, I recall it's been a lot of years since I've played it. And I beat it, by the way. But I really enjoyed that game. I had an absolutely great time playing it. Now this next one, granted, is I know it's not the the best version of this game but it's a version of this game that i got and it's marvel superheroes for from capcom for the playstation oh absolutely classic fighter i beat this game i think with every single character <laughs> absolutely blast i i love playing this really 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 fun game uh the next one i want to talk about is my only big box one uh, as i said i'm not a collector i buy what i plan on playing right and there we go it's street fighter alpha for uh warrior's dreams for the playstation big box pretty cool game i uh, i really enjoyed it these big boxes are cool they take a little bit more space but they they give better artwork i think on it overall better presentation but it is what it is. A uh, cool game. I'm not saying I'm the best at Street Fighter. I've gotten a lot better over the last year, especially when I started getting more into using the fight sticks rather than the controller. I love arcade sticks. Uh, I bought one just for fighter games to play on multiple platforms. Uh, I do plan on having a review up for that pretty soon. The reason it's taking so long is when I review a product, I review it thoroughly. I play I test it out a lot. I don't want to just get it for a day and go oh look this looks nice now <laughs> i want to make sure it holds up and it does what it's supposed to now this next one i hear is a gem i've watched reviews on it i haven't played it yet this is one of them i got in a batch of a bunch of games uh with a system that's the diehard trilogy it's like three games in one the playstation version is the best version from everything i've seen of that beats the sega saturn and the pc port so if you're looking for diehard trilogy get it on the playstation and you can usually get it for five bucks and under uh but i look forward to it because it's got a light gun but tell me what light gun works with this because i think i had the namco namco one or whatever like that and it, it's a really cool gun but i hear it doesn't work with this i'm going to have to try that out soon because i haven't popped that one in and tried it uh, another one here I haven't played yet is Jet Moto 2. Uh, I'm looking forward to checking that out. I think it might be pretty fun. Now this one's another one that might get a little bit... I enjoyed it, but I, it's not the best game. I'll admit that. And that's Judge Dredd. <laughs> For this. It's a shooter game, if I recall. Uh, first, not, uh, not even first person shooter, but more... Uh, I think it's on a on rail shooter, if I recall. But I don't think it used the light gun. I think that was the problem I had with it. This next one I haven't beat yet because I haven't put much time into it, but I hear nothing but good. And that's Oddworld. The original Oddworld. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm looking forward to that. Abe's Odyssey. Absolutely wonderful. Now, this next one I've played a lot. I got a lot of fun out of this one. It's cheap. You can always get it really easy. And it's PlayStation Arcade's Greatest Hits from uh, Midway. 
arcade's greatest hits. So you have like Blaster Master, Burger Time, Joust on there, Moon Patrol, Root Beer Tapper, Splat, you know, and Spy Hunter, I think, was on there too. A lot of fun stuff. Yep, there we are, Spy Hunter. Really good. Burger Time's awesome, by the way. If you haven't played Burger Time, it's a good port of it. Good game. Good way to get some of those classic arcades. Here's another one. I got this one for my wife, and that's Spyro. She hasn't beat it yet. Spyro the Dragon. Looking forward to, you know, the original. So go figure, right? <laughs> Here's another one I picked up. I recently got with a large set of games in a system, and I haven't played it yet. Uh, little Frugal's looking forward to playing this one pretty soon, and it's Rayman Rush. He's seen that, and this is what he's excited for and wants to play. Uh, I, I think it looks like it's going to be an interesting concept. Several original cunning opponents make a mad dash to the checkered flag. So it's a racing game. Should be interesting. This next one, you people tell me, is this a good game or not? And it's Armored Core. I, I hear good things about it. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Armored Core. Uh, you can link consoles to play it. I, I don't know why, but if you've played games like this, Armored Core, let me know. Is this a cool game? And any tips I could definitely use. This next one is sort of uh, has a history <laughs> of being hard. Uh, I guess a lot of people have gotten this game and haven't even gotten past the tutorial. I haven't played it yet. And that is Driver 2. Yep, once again, the case was like this when I got it. I hate when people don't take care of their stuff. This is one thing that bugs me. When I get games, I take care of them. And often when I find used games and things like that, they're without cases and things like that. It's like, what do these people do to these things? I can understand a little bit more like Super Nintendo and Nintendo when they're a cardboard box. But when it's a jewel case, come on, take care of your stuff, right? But that's me. <laughs> and this next one I beat, and this is the one that got me into the Resident Evil series. I got this with my PlayStation right away, so it's like one of the first games I ever played on the PlayStation, if not the first. And it's Resident Evil Director's Cut. I absolutely love this game. Uh, there is better version of it, of course. Uh, the, I also have the GameCube version of this, of Resident Evil. Uh, which is the remake, and it was done phenomenally. But nonetheless, I beat them both, and they are a little bit different. So it's worth it giving each one a playthrough. Just the, the terrible voice acting alone makes this worth it. And back then, too, that was freaky. You know, you played in the dark, and you see that zombie coming. It's like, oh my gosh, right? It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, another one here is Oddworld Abe's Exodus. So, yes, I got two of these to go through. My wife. Got one of these, so we got those, and I, I look forward to it. Absolutely, uh, they look like a, a fun trip, fun trip to run through and, and save those little guys. Now the next one also I spent a lot of time on, <laughs> and that's because it, it was challenging, and that's the original Gran Turismo. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm interested to put this game back in and see if it still holds up today with its fancy new ones and all the graphics and everything. I would tend to be more of like the arcade style racers where this is a simulator style, but I did really good on it. I, I earned tons of the uh, licenses and all that stuff that was required for that. But, you know, if a lot of time was put in this game. I hope my memory card still, <laughs> still got the stuff if I ever pop it in and check it again. Uh, but nonetheless, it was a lot of fun. I definitely had some nail biters of getting in, you know, just at the nick of time squeaking through. But the original Gran Turismo, I have to admit, I have never played another Gran Turismo game. So if I should be playing another one, let me know. All right, as I said, I don't have, uh, I'm not a collector. I'm more of a buy what I want to play kind of guy and it just happens to build a lot. So that's what I have on the PlayStation 1. So now that you know what I have, let me know. Is there a game that I should be getting on the PlayStation 1 that I don't have? What am I missing? Is there a gem on there that I just should get and add to my collection? Especially if it's cheap. <laughs> if not, I'll try to find it cheap anyway. I'd be really happy to know that. And let, let So let me know your thoughts. What game am I, should I have to my PlayStation 1 collection? Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, and until next time, keep it frugal!